Is your partner a pain in the butt to sleep next to every night? Well, how about a twin bed in your travel trailer? Hey everybody, Mike with RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and remember to click that notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every single week when we put out a brand new video. But without any further ado, let's get started on our reviews of travel trailers with twin beds. This travel trailer is the Gulfstream Envision, model number 21TBD. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,655 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 2,405 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,060 pounds. It measures in at 22 feet, six inches long, and it can sleep up to four people. When you walk inside this travel trailer, the first thing you notice on the right hand side is the twin bed setup, which is really, really great. Then you have your dinette and kitchen area, and in the very back of the trailer is a really spacious bathroom. In the front of this RV, it is really, really cool because you have your choice between having twin beds up front so you can sleep separately and not knock into each other at night when you're sleeping, or there is a board that can go across the middle here and there's a couple of extra cushions that you can put in place and make this a really big, short, king-size bed. Now, the first thing you'll notice about up top here is all these really nice storage cabinets. So you've got a lot of room to store clothes and things up top. You'll also notice there's a light above my head so you can have a well-lit area here. Uh, just above where you would sleep, there's a shelf with receptacles and H not HDMI, USB, USB ports on each side. I always get them mixed up. And there's a light above here as well. And then you've got, really, if you set it up as twin beds, you have this nice big nightstand in between. Or like I said, you can put the cushions in place or the extra mattresses and turn this into one big giant bed. One other really nice feature is there is additional storage down below on both sides. So you have storage under both sides of the double beds. And another couple of other things are you've got windows on each side so you can get some nice cross ventilation in here. And finally, there is a curtain that just separates the sleeping area from the rest of the trailer. The dinette area in this camper is set into a slide out. It's a bit of a raised up type slide out, but that's okay. I mean, you can still squeeze in here and easily seat four people here. We don't particularly like the carpet in the slide out areas, especially in the dinette area, because you can drop food and stuff and, and the carpet can get dirty over time. But a lot of slide outs do have carpet in them still, and they're slowly changing over to making them all vinyl or linoleum. One other nice feature about this dinette is you can drop the table down and this will make a bed that I would say two kids could sleep in. So a family of four in this small trailer would work out just fine. If you have adults though, I would say just one adult might be able to, to sleep here. The dinette table is pretty spacious. There's a nice big window above, uh, so it's a great dinette setup. So the kitchen area in here, and you guys hear me say it all the time, this is an inline kitchen setup. All the kitchen appliances are all in one line, which I love. It's a very convenient setup for a kitchen. You'll notice up top here, you've got a very large storage cabinet here, plus a built-in microwave. Now this is a regular microwave, not a convection, but it doesn't need to be, and I'll show you why in just a second. But as we pan on down, you'll notice there's a three burner gas range here, which is really, really large. And then next to that, a very shallow double bowl sink with a gooseneck faucet. Now, what they've done in this trailer is they've given you maximum cooking and lots of sink space at the cost of all of your countertop space. So I guess what you would have to do is when you can have this cover down because this becomes your countertop space. That's really all you have in here. But another nice touch is this lighting underneath of the kitchen counter. And then it's got this big door with lots of storage underneath. Now, next to that cabinet, under the stove top, you've also got a real oven, which is why you don't need a convection microwave up above because you have a real oven to cook or bake things in. Now, I do wanna point out one more thing in the kitchen, and that is there are no drawers in here. 
Uh, so you're either gonna have to have some totes to hold your kitchen utensils and put them under the kitchen sink, or you could use what's called a hide a drawer. Susan and I have one in our class C RV, and it basically gets mounted right underneath on the bottom of your dinette table. And it's a little drawer that you can pull in and out. And we keep all of our kitchen utensils in there. So if you ever run into a trailer that doesn't have drawers, don't worry about it. There's always a workaround. Now, working our way through the kitchen area, you'll notice that there's a nice big uh, refrigerator with a separate freezer. This is a three-way fridge, which is very convenient. You can use battery power or propane or shore power. Uh, and then behind me here is where your TV would be mounted. This is a great spot in this camper because you can see it from the bed area as well as the dinette. Just above, we've got some radio controls, another storage cabinet, and then down below, another shallow storage cabinet. So here I am in the bathroom and there is like a 13 inch step up, step up to get into the shower, which really takes away from the headroom in the shower. You know, this trailer actually has great headroom. I mean, from the floor to the ceiling, it's six feet, uh, nine inches. So a ton of headroom for all you taller campers out there. But due to the fact that you've got a 13 ste uh, inch step up into the shower, you know, you're gonna lose some headroom in here. Now I'm 5'11", and there's maybe five inches over my head. So if you're taller than 6'4 in the shower, you're gonna have to, you know, crouch down a bit. But once you're in here, it's pretty spacious. Uh, there's a little, couple little corner shelves for shampoo and soap. Of course, the shower head pulls off, so you can use that however you'd like. And then this has a retractable shower door, which is, in our opinion, way better than a shower curtain because you won't have it blowing in on you when you're taking a shower. These just pull out and then automatically retract back into place. Very nice feature. So on the other side of the bathroom, and this bathroom does run the whole width of the back of this uh, trailer. So on this side of the bathroom, you'll notice that you have you know, a good sized medicine cabinet here, a nice light up above so you can see your face in the morning. It's got a very good sized sink in here with a decent amount of counter space around it. Just to the right of that, there's a drawer here to keep things and it's even got a wardrobe closet here so you can hang things up in here and store things on the bottom as well. And then finally, there's even more storage below the vanity. I gotta say, for a small camper, the elbow space in here is an absolute winner. Outside the camper, there is a huge storage pass-through area, which gives you lots of room and lots of storage. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Mini, model number 2327TB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,932 pounds, a very impressive cargo carry capacity of 2,868 pounds, probably because it has dual axles, and an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 8,800 pounds. It measures in at 27 feet, 1 inches long, and it can sleep up to 4 people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the left hand side is a huge bathroom that wraps around into the living area and then the kitchen and then behind me here is the owner's bedroom. Now when you first walk into this travel trailer my first thought is man this looks comfortable and big. I really like the feel when you first walk in here. Now the first thing you'll notice is on the right hand side there is a huge storage closet and it's got a couple of shelves in here, three shelves to be exact, a couple of coat hooks. So you have plenty of room to store things, put your coats up, kick your shoes in there, whatever you'd like to do. Now, right around the corner from the big coat closet is where the entertainment center is located. You get a nice big TV here. You've got some storage up and above the TV as well. Then down below the TV, you have all your radio controls, some open storage and also plenty of other storage down there as well. Now, this is perfect location because right across from that is where your recliners are located. They put these little cups in here as props. I sure wish I had a drink in one of them. But anyway, these are nice, comfy reclining seats in the middle here. We have this in our Class A RV. It's this armrest kicks up. We have all of our remote controls in here, TVs, the Sony DVD player, the fireplace, everything. Just a great place to hide your remote controls. Uh, now, one thing to note about this location is that 
the um, recliners and the refrigerator are all in a slide out so this whole area slides out and that's really what makes it feel so large in here it really gives you the extra floor space in here that you need so it feels big and comfortable now you may ha also have noticed that there's no dinette in here and that's because your theater seats also serve as your dinette there is a separate table that connects to a bracket that fits on this piece right here. And so your table will sit right in front of you. Uh, it's not a bad setup. I wish that they had a freestanding table though, and here's why. What we have found is the tables that fit into this bracket, they do tend to wobble a little bit uh, because they're only supported from one spot in the middle of the table and the table can teeter a little bit back and forth. The other issue is it's hard to get up or get into your seat once the table's in place. So we would prefer to see a freestanding table. You can move it around inside your camper. You can take it outside and use it out there if you'd like. It just provides a little more versatility. The kitchen area here is just past the entertainment center. And up top here, we have a microwave convection oven. So that's really fantastic. Then we have lots of storage up top. And I gotta tell you, I really like the way these cabinet knobs are. They aren't mounted on the door. They're mounted on the bottom of the cabinet. And what I find is that my fingers never touch the cabinet. I just reach for this little black part here and open and close where if, if the knob was on the door, my fingers might hit the door. I might touch the door more with my hands, but these knobs are really nice. I think they're out of the way. Um, below that, we have a nice big sink here with a gooseneck faucet. Now they have all their sales material out, so I'm not gonna pick it all up and move it around. But you also have extra countertop space. You've got a receptacle here if you wanna plug in your coffee to uh, pot or toaster. And then of course, uh, you've got a three burner propane stove here as well. Now under the propane stove, you have a large drawer for pots and pans. And then below that, that's actually where your fuse panel is located. And by the way, if you don't already, I recommend you keep a whole bunch of fuses on board your RV. Um, you can buy a multi-pack at Home Depot or any auto parts store, but trust me, they do come in handy every now and then. It's good to keep them on board. Finally, underneath the kitchen sink, uh, the doors open up and there's a little bit of storage under there. But one thing I want to note is that the two-tone cabinetry in here is also very, very nice. You've got your black matte cabinetry down below, and then you've got your sort of natural wood tone up above. I just think it really feels a little more residential and high end. Now, right across from the kitchen sink and range and all that good stuff is where the refrigerator is located. This refrigerator has a separate freezer that's very large and the refrigerator is also a great size. This happens to be a 12 volt refrigerator, so it's gonna run on shore power or battery power. It doesn't need propane at all. Uh, it also has a compressor in it, so that compressor will help cool your refrigerator much more efficiently and much more quickly. And then right next to the refrigerator, we have these very nice pantry cabinets, so you have plenty of storage for all your dry goods. One other nice feature is at the very end, there's a bank of drawers here for all your kitchen utensils. So here I am in the owner's bedroom and it's a great size bedroom. Now the first thing you'll notice in here is that we have twin beds in here. And for those of you who like to sleep in your own bed, don't wanna run into your partner all night long and get the elbow in the ribs, this is a great setup. The size of these beds look to be uh 74 inches by about 32 inches so not too bad at all now if you don't want to have a twin bed setup you can actually create one giant king size bed in here and um, there's actually storage underneath of this bed you can move this top piece of wood into position pull the cushions out and make a nice big king size bed in here the advantage to that is you have a much larger bed. Maybe you like to sleep together. Uh, the disadvantage is that you can only get in and out of your bed from the end. 
uh, where when you have twin beds, each person could get up in the middle of the night if they'd like to and use the restroom, hopefully without disturbing the other person. So just depends on what your lifestyle is and how you like to do things. Now, the next thing to note in here is the immense amount of storage that's in this bedroom. These storage cabinets are huge, very, very spacious. They wrap all the way around in a U shape in here. So there's plenty of storage overhead. And then just to your right, my left, there's a little countertop in here and there's additional storage down below that. Now on this side of the bedroom, this is also where you would mount your TV. There's already a receptacle and cable rough in provided. You can mount your TV and be able to watch TV before you fall asleep at night. One more thing to note, and this is really a, just a nice decorative feature is this storage for open storage. There's also a receptacle and USB port on each end so you can charge your tablet, your phone, whatever you need each evening. Now, in addition to the overhead storage, we have storage down below too, and this drawer pulls out from one side of the twin bed setup. So there's even more space there, but that's not all. Just inside the bedroom door, we haven't covered this yet, but there's a nice wardrobe closet up top with a bar so you can hang all your garments up there. And then down below that, there's additional storage with a shelf in place. Now, here I am in the bathroom, which is all the way at the back of this travel trailer, but it's where near where the door is when you first walk in. Uh, this is a huge bathroom. I mean, it runs the entire width of the travel trailer, and it's just a very, very good, comfortable size in here. Now, I'm standing up in the shower. You guys know I'm 5'11". There's maybe an inch over my head to the regular roof part of this RV, but in the skylight area, there's a little more space in there for you, and that measures up at about six feet, four inches. So for you taller guys, you have a little headroom in here as well. Now the surround in here is very, very nice. It's a molded plastic. It's got three corner shelves built in so you can store your soap and shampoo. And then it's got a little wand that you can pull off the wall to shower up. It also comes with a retractable shower door, which is a very nice feature. Now here I am on the other side of the bathroom and Susan's standing in the shower and you can just see how nice and big this feels. You have a big medicine cabinet over, over top with a few shelves in there for storage. Down below that you have all this countertop space around your vanity sink. You've also got a receptacle here so you can plug in a hair dryer or shaver or what have you. And then there's additional storage below the bathroom sink as well. And then off to the right of that, we've got open storage from top to bottom. It's about two feet deep. You can store linens, towels, all kinds of things in here. And finally, here I am on the commode and there's just so much room in here, it's ridiculous. I can absolutely pass the elbow test. This travel trailer is the Airstream International model number 23 FBT. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,000 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,000 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,000 pounds. It measures in at an impressive 23 feet 9 inches long and it can sleep up to four people. When you first walk into this travel trailer on the left hand side and towards the back of it is where the bathroom is located. That wraps around into the kitchen and dinette area and then behind me here is the owner's bedroom. So when I first walk into this travel trailer, the first thing I notice is the fit and finish in here. It seems very, very high quality and the layout is very, very comfortable looking. Now, the first thing you'll notice straight ahead is your kitchen setup. This is what's known as an inline kitchen. What I mean by that is all of your kitchen appliances are all in one line. Now, starting from the top and working our way down, we've got plenty of overhead storage up here. And then below that, of course, we have our kitchen counter area. Now they have a nice big square, deep single bowl sink in here. And check out this designer faucet. This is a Moen faucet. This is more of a residential type thing. But look how beautiful that is. It just swings around, really adds a nice residential touch to this kitchen setup. The solid surface countertop is a very nice pattern, sort of a granite looking. And then of course you have your three burner stove. And then below that, you have a convection microwave oven. There is a small drawer down below that you can pull open for some additional storage. And then of course we have open storage underneath of the kitchen sink and countertop area too. Just past the kitchen sink and before the bathroom, there's this really cool pantry shelf that slides right out. And there's some additional storage over top of that as well. 
Just past the stove top and the microwave convection oven is where the refrigerator is located. This is a good size fridge up top. And then down below, we have a separate freezer with a tray for ice cubes. Just above the refrigerator, we have a little tiny storage compartment there as well. Just across from the kitchen area is where the dinette is located. And I would say you could probably sit three people here comfortably. Uh, if you chose to turn this into a bed and the table will drop down to create a bed, you would end up with a bed that's about, gosh, six feet long and in the neighborhood of 40 inches wide. So I would say you could maybe sleep two small children here, maybe one larger child. Uh, also, there's two really nice big windows over top of the dinette. You can open these windows for nice airflow. And I love the fact that the dinette is on the campsite of the RV. So when you look out the windows, you can see your campsite and all that good stuff. Now, just above here, we have a couple of lights that shine down onto the dinette table. And then we have additional storage overhead. There's even a receptacle and H, um, gosh, what are they called? Not HDMI, USB. USB ports up here and a 12 volt connector as well. Now, as we head back into the bedroom, just past the refrigerator, there's this very large wardrobe cabinet in here. It's got a bar underneath so you can hang your garments and there's still enough room below that for more storage. And then of course it has a shelf on top where you can store things there as well. So here I am in the bedroom, which obviously feature, features twin beds in here. The size of these beds, let's see if we can get a good measurement, come in at 80 inches long and about 34 inches wide. So definitely a good length and uh, you would be nice and comfortable for you and your partner. The big advantage to having twin beds is that both of you could get out of bed in the middle of the night, hopefully without disturbing your partner. Now, in addition to that overhead here, we have some additional storage area. And then there's a nightstand in between the two beds. There is a receptacle located at the top of the nightstand. So if you need to charge devices, plug in a CPAP, you can certainly do that. And then there's a drawer here for more storage as well. The TV location in here is in a great spot. You can watch TV while you're laying in bed at night, or you can grab the swivel arm and swing it on out so that you can watch TV from your dinette location. Then right across from where the TV is located, there's another storage cabinet here, which has a bar on top. So this can also be used as a wardrobe cabinet. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm standing in the shower like I usually am. Now in an Airstream, you know, the, the back of this thing sort of tails off and rounds out. So headroom wise, I'm standing towards the front of the shower and headspace in here, I keep banging my head a little bit, is about six feet, one inch. So for you taller folks, you're definitely gonna have to crouch down a bit to fit in the shower, but it's a decent size. It's nice and wide and deep. So there's plenty of room. And this shower also comes with a detachable wand that you can use. It's also got a shelf for your soap dish. It's got a little extra storage down here for shampoo bottles or soaps and conditioners. And it even has a seat in here, which is a really nice feature. So now Susan's standing outside the bathroom and shooting in, and I just got out of the shower, but it's a really nice feel in here. It feels very large. You've got a window in your bathroom, so you get all that natural light in here. It comes with a little mirror that's attached to the wall, a towel ring, a very nice vanity and faucet setup, plenty of countertop space in here. There's also some additional storage underneath of your bathroom sink and also to my right here underneath the countertop space. Now, when I'm sitting on the commode, uh, I have to say the elbow test, I'm passing on one side, but not the other. Now that you've had a chance to check out all three of these trailers, let us know which one is your favorite and why in the comments down below. Now, if a twin bed's not your thing, but you still need more sleeping space, maybe you'll wanna check out some travel trailers with king size beds. If you do, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.